Well, hi guys. It's Natasha here. Riches Get Stitches. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I just wanted to throw together a quick little video um, of me test running some sewing. Uh, and so I had seen a lot of different uh, representations of these dice tray slash ort keeper slash I don't even know what you would call it, but it's um, a tray that like, but or it's a flat piece of um, fabric that buttons up into like a bowl style. And so I decided, well, let's just kind of wing it. Let's see what I can come up with. Um, Cause that's kind of a lot of what my experimenting in sewing and such is. And so um, here's just a, a quick video of me testing it out. Okay, so tonight I'm going to attempt to make one of those uh, trinket trays, dice tray things that I've seen on um, Instagram and Pinterest and all over the place. So uh, let's just give it a whirl. of them. Oops. Oh yeah, that fits on there. the clappers my husband made for me. Helps to set them. Set those seams or set the the whatever it's called the crease. And this is a um, iron on seam guide. Be a little unnecessary but I'm gonna go in and clip the corners clip my little pieces of string and turn it inside out or try to with this really thick interfacing flip the other one and then I'm gonna go over and top stitch around the very edge and actually I'm also gonna top stitch on this line to do is make the holes for the snap and snaps and, and put them in. So I guess, let me see, let me do it this way. Fold at the corner. Cause 
because that's where they're gonna snap up is right at that corner and then take my all make a hole okay I'll do this one while I've got it folded <music> Hopefully I have enough of these. We'll find out, I guess. Let's see. Plug your ears, y'all. There we go. Okay, well, I uh, ran out of all the pieces um so i was only able to do two quarters and then i'll have i've got one and one but i mean that's gonna look kind of cool that'd be pretty neat nice neat little uh trinket tray i'm thinking maybe i should have used regular interfacing on the rest of it and then just the thick stuff on the bottom because I don't know if these sides are going to stick up but uh, we'll find out tomorrow after I pick up some more uh, snap box all right I've got these all on now little loose thread there we go on both of them so we'll see what it does Okay, well, lesson learned. These need to be even taller and stiffer. Because I don't think that's really going to hold much. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> They're cool table tents. Well, so as you can see, that didn't turn out so well. <laughs> um, they don't stand up. Um, either you know, these aren't wide enough or it's not stiff enough or I, I couldn't really figure out why. Um, but ultimately these buttons don't work. Um, and my husband just came downstairs and, and took a look and we experimented and put clips on the very, very edge, you know, tip of the, the corners. And this one stands up perfectly. So I just put my buttons too far in. Um, and at this point, you know, the buttons are ruined. The snaps are ruined. Like you can't reuse these snaps. Um, so, um, lesson learned for the next time. Um, I'll probably make, well, I guess they don't need to be any taller than that. 
Um, next time I make some of these, I will put the snaps as close as possible to the corner. Um, but for now, I'm going to go through and I'm going to remove all of these snaps and, and sew really close to the corner. And so it'll just be a permanent dice tray instead of a um, fold down dice tray. So yeah, uh, sometimes my experiments, experiments turn out good. Sometimes they turn out bad, but either way, I learned something while I do. So um, hope you guys had fun. Uh, I certainly did just trying something new. And if there's anything else you would like me to try to give it a whirl and make, uh, comment below. Um, it doesn't have to already have a tutorial out there, just something that you think might be fun to see if it's possible to figure out just from a photo or whatever. Um, yeah, let me know. So, all right. See you later, guys.